I decided that I would get a PlayStation 5. I also have an Xbox Series X. Before I got the PlayStation 5, I had the Series X. And I think I kind of subscribed to the whole console fanboyish mentality where you kind of ended up obsessing over what the competitor was doing. Uh, getting more worried that the competitor's more successful, that your your brand that you favour is going to potentially just collapse on itself. And it can get really negative and it makes you feel negative. And the more you get, the more you read into it, the more you get absorbed into that. Um, it can make you, it can make a game in a negative experience because gaming is just meant to be for fun. And I'm of the firm belief that most people that now write about games, review games, make videos about games, they do not like playing games. They, um, I think they're just more addicted to the drama, more addicted. You know, I think of people like a Dreamcast guy or uh, fucking... Oh, there's shitloads actually that's the first first person that pops to my mind but there's websites like pure xbox and push squared how they all make jabs at each other and how the people that comment on it sort of relishing in some kind of strange mob gathering and they're it's just it's, it's so weird it's, it's so much hate uh so much bickering so much speculation and so much willing other things to fail like they, they want to see people they want people to enjoy for example, PlayStation fans want to see Xbox fans suffer. They want their brand to collapse so that the Xbox fans have wasted their money and don't get to enjoy the hobby that they've invested in, and vice versa. But now I've played both consoles, I can say, okay, look, genuinely PlayStation 5 probably is a better console in terms of how it plays. It feels next-gen. Series X has got fucking awesome Game Pass, and it's it's still awesome, an awesome console. They're both brilliant. They're both fun. They both bring something different to the table. Um, PlayStation 5 has f fucking awesome exclusives <clears throat> and they're all on PS Plus at the moment. I've played Horizon Forbidden West, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, completed Spider-Man Miles Morales, the game, the game, the console game of God of War Ragnarok, which I'm really looking forward to getting into. I've got, um, The Last of Us Part 2 that I bought for £8 on sale. Uh, it's Death Stranding, which I need to get into. And on the Series X side of things, I'm playing Hogwarts Legacy, Atomic Heart, Day One with Game Pass. I'm playing Ishin Like a Dragon, um, Age of Empires, uh, holy shit, there were so many that I can't even think at the top of my head. I'm juggling games. Point is, is that I think when people just have one console, they have one train of thought, one thought, one thought process. And it's all getting so out of hand and it's such a negative experience, this console gaming war bullshit. Um, also, this is really cool. It's going to go up there uh, on that side. 